hello everyone welcome back to my channel learn with mukul so in this video i'm going to teach you about the most you can say the tough operator in the all the operators which is the bitwise operator and before i continue my video i want to thank to all of you helping me reach 1k subscriber and keep supporting me and i will keep uploading my video in a consistent manner so today i'm going to teach you about the bitwise operator so basically bitwise operator consists of six types of operator in bitwise and these bitwise operators are mostly used in c++ c python and java programming languages now i'm going to only teach you about the basic logic behind each type of operator in bitwise so first of all we have bitwise and operator what does bitwise and operator does and the symbol for bitwise and operator is ampersand only single ampersand make sure that the difference between a logical operator and a bitwise operator in in logical operator we have double ampersand and in bitwise operator we have single ampersand similarly followed for or and not now first of all we will continue with bitwise and operator and the symbol for that is ampersand now what does bitwise and operator does binary and operator copies a bit to the result if both conditions are true the res the result will become true if both the conditions are true so first of all if a first condition is 1 we can say true and 0 for false if both the conditions are true the our result will be true similarly if one condition is false the output will be the result will be false similarly 111 100 010 -0 and 000 this is how bitwise and operator works now coming to the second operator which is called bitwise or operator the bitwise or and the symbol for bitwise or is it's called a pipe you can a vertical line now what is a binary or binary or operator copies a bit to the result if one of them condition is true which means that if one of the conditions among all the condition is true the result will be true if both conditions are true then the output will be true if one of the condition is true the output or the result will be true similarly we can see that 111101 Zero one one zero zero zero. This is how bitwise or operator works, and I'm going to give example of all the bitwise operators one by one. First of all, I'm going to teach you about the logic behind how each operator works in bitwise. Now coming to the third operator, which is called the bitwise XOR operator. It's quite different from the AND or OR, or you can say it is a combination of AND and OR. So bitwise XOR means. binary xor operation copies a bit to the result if one condition is true and other is false which means in bitwise xor the symbol for bitwise xor we call it in mathematics it's called a caret for now binary xor operation copies a bit to the result if one condition is true and other is false which means false i am saying one condition should be true and other condition should be false then only the result will become one if both the conditions are true and if both the conditions are false the output will become false i am saying if 11 the result will be 0 101 011 00 which means if both conditions are true or both conditions are false the result will be false and if one condition is true and one condition is false the output or the result will be true or we can say 1 this is how xor operation works in bitwise i am going to tell you all this three bitwise and or an xor operation in upcoming uh, upcoming page coming to the fifth or uh, now coming to the fourth operator which is called the bitwise ones complement operator the symbol for bitwise one complement operator is the bitwise ones complement operator it's called a complement which is like a wave now to calculate the formula of bitwise one complement operator is using formula of minus a plus 1 here a is a number and we convert it into binary form so before i teach you all this operator in bitwise you need to learn the binary notations of each number starting from 0 to 9 and further on a to f so in the last page i have given you a table i am going to give you a table so please learn or you can make a logic to learn that table so it will be helpful in uh, doing the bitwise all the operators now i was in fourth operator which is called bitwise ones complement operator which is using the formula of minus a plus 1 memorize it minus a plus 1 now how does bitwise one complement operator works now suppose if a is equal to 
then 2 in binary notation can be written as 0 0 1 0 now by formula we can say that if our a was 2 and a in binary notation means 0 0 1 0 plus 1 so by adding it is 0 0 1 1 so, so the output will be minus 3 so this is how binary ones complement operator works and negative is used because the negative number are stored as the two's complement of the positive counterpart no need to uh, learn this is the complex part you only need to just solve what will be the output of this bitwise one complement operator i hope you got the concept of bitwise one complement operator using the formula of minus a plus one for that you need to understand the concept of binary notations of each number or you can make a logic by using 2 raised to the power 0 1 2 i will teach you further on now coming to the fifth operator which is called the bitwise left shift left shift operator which is followed by the symbol of 2 less than okay now the left shift operator is represented by the symbol uh, 2 less than and shifts each bits in its left hand operand to the left by the number of position indicated by the right hand operand so basically it means bitwise left shift operator means it add on the number of zeros specified by the users to the right hand side so i'm going to tell i'm going to tell you how does it work for example if a is equal to 14 and 14 in binary notation triple one zero and b is equal to two now left shift by two zeros which means adding two zeros at the right hand side then a left shift operator b which is a is a 14 left shift operator 2 and 14 by notation means triple one zero and we are shifting two zeros and we are shifting the notation to the left hand side by adding two zeros at the right hand side it basically means in left shift operator we put the number of zeros specified by the users to the right hand side so that our not binary notation of the numbers suppose in this 14 it gets shifted to left hand side so the output will be 3 times 0 and 3 times 1 because we have added two more zeros as specified by the user b is equal to 2 and by formulas as 2 raised to power 0 2 raised to power 1 2 raised to power 2 3 4 and 5 so at this we calculate that 2 raised to power 3 is 8 2 raised to power 4 is 16 and 2 raised to power 5 is 32 by keep on adding this we get 56 as done so this is how bitwise left shift operator works now coming to the similar bitwise right shift operator the right shift operator is represented by the two greater than symbol and shifts each bits in its left hand operand to the right by the number of position indicated by the right hand operand it basically means we are adding the number of zeros specified by the users to the left hand side so that the binary notation of the number gets shifted to right it just you need to make clear a simple shortcut is that if it is asked bitwise left shift operator the number of zeros will be added to the right and in bitwise right shift operator you have to uh, put the number of zeros specified by the user to the left hand side so that the binary notation gets shifted to right now now coming to the example of coming to the example of bitwise right shift operator for example similar example if a is equal to 14 triple one zero b is equal to 2 right shift by 2 0 which means adding 2 zeros at the left. then a right shift operator b 14 right shift operator 2 and 14 here here was triple one zero and we are adding number of zeros which was 2 to the left hand side so 0 0 1 1 okay now uh, you might have a doubt why have why have removed the other two other one the other one because the binary notation happens in only four bits only and upper example left shift operator the the zeros were as was added to the right hand side so basically we no need to change in that now because in right shift operator we add number of uh, zeros to the left hand side so binary notation happens in four bits only and so the output will be zero zero one one and with this uh, you can calculate 2 raised to power 0 and 2 raised to power 1 2 so 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so this is how bitwise right shift operator works now i hope you got the concept of all the operators in bitwise now coming to the example of 
द प्रीवियस ऑपरेटर विच आई हैव नॉट गिवन टू विच वॉज बिट वाइज एंड और एंड एक्सॉर नाउ इन बिट वाइज एंड ऑपरेटर सपोज इफ ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री एंड बी इज इक्वल टू फाइव देन ए एम परसेंट बी विच मीन्स ए बिट वाइज एंड बी इज इक्वल टू थ्री एम परसेंट फाइव नाउ इन बिट वाइज ऑपरेटर द एवरीथिंग वर्क इन बिट्स विच इज जीरो एंड वन सो द बाइंडिंग नोटेशन ऑफ थ्री इज डबल जीरो वन वन एंड फाइव इज जीरो वन जीरो वन सो वी डू द एंड विच इज जीरो जीरो वन वन जीरो वन जीरो वन एंड वट वॉज द कंडीशन ऑफ बिट वाइज एंड विच वॉज बोथ द कंडीशन शुड बी ट्रू और वी कैन से बोथ द कंडीशन शुड बी वन सो वन 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 जीरो 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 वन जीरो 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 आई एम गोइंग फ्रॉम टॉप टू डाउन फ्रॉम राइट हैंड साइड विच इज वन 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 जीरो 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 वन जीरो 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 सो एंड द रिजल्ट इज ट्रिपल जीरो वन एंड वी कन्वर्ट इन टू नंबर विच इज टू रेज टू पावर जीरो विच इज इक्वल टू वन सो वन विल विद आउटपुट ऑफ दिस बिट वाइज एंड ऑपरेटर प्रॉब्लम नॉ कमिंग टू द बिट वाइज और ऑपरेटर इफ ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री एंड बी इज इक्वल टू फाइव दैन ए बिट वाइज और ऑपरेटर इज इक्वल टू थ्री बिट वाइज ऑपरेटर और फाइव एंड थ्री नोटेशन इज डबल जीरो जीरो वन जीरो वन सिमिलरली वी डू दैट वी डू दिस डबल जीरो वन वन जीरो वन जीरो वन एंड द कंडीशन फॉर बिट वाइज और ऑपरेटर वॉज वन कंडीशन शुड बी ट्रू एंड वन कंडीशन शुड बी ट्रू अमंग वन ऑफ देम इफ बोथ आर ट्रू इट्स गुड सो नाउ वन 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 जीरो वन जीरो वन वन जीरो 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 नाउ द रिजल्ट इज जीरो थ्री टाइम्स वन एंड बाई कैलकुलेट वी सी दैट टू रेस्ट पावर जीरो टू रेस्ट टू पावर टू रेस्ट टू पावर जीरो टू रेस्ट टू पावर वन एंड टू रेस्ट पावर टू विच इज फोर प्लस टू प्लस वन विच इज इक्वल टू सेवन सो सेवन इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस बिट वाइज और ऑपरेटर नो कमिंग टू द बिट वाइज एक्सॉर ऑपरेटर इन दिस द कंडीशन वॉज one condition should be true and one condition should be false then the result will be true if both the conditions are true or false the con the output will be false now which is similar example a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 5 0011 0101 both are true which is one so output will be 0 and 10 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 and by converting we see that Zero double one zero. We get two raised to power one and two raised to power two, which is equal to four plus two six. So six is the result of this XOR operator of bitwise. Now this is how bitwise operator works in all the programming languages like Java, C, C plus plus, and Python in the backend of the processor. Now I hope you got the concept of every operator, which is bitwise and bitwise or bitwise XOR. bitwise once complement operator bitwise left shift operator and bitwise right shift operator so while i'm explaining the video please keep a notebook with you so that you can write down the concept behind and the examples that i'm giving providing to you so that you get clarity in your mind now before you go to my video you need to learn the binary notation of each number from 0 to 9 and a to f here a to f basically means 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 now the Table that I was that I was talking to you about is this. It does nothing, just a table where each number is represented in this format. Here, suppose two is represented as double zero one zero, three is represented as zero zero one one, and five. Suppose seven is represented at zero one zero one one one. So the main shortcut behind learning this binary notation is simple. Make four columns. From the right hand sides, zero one zero one zero one zero one sixteen times, and two times zero, two times one, two times zero, two times one, two times zero, so on. And this four times zero, four times one, four times zero, four times one, and eight times zero and eight times one. If you make this, you will get a pattern. By row wise, you can mark it as zero, one, two, three, four, till up to nine. And make sure that in binary we don't get ten. We get A, B, C, D, E, F. and so on we can continue to up 100 120 so i hope you like my today's video of bitwise operator and keep subscribing to my video and like my video and do comment and please share to your btech bca 
all the IT friends. So meet you next time with more upcoming videos of IT and uh, computer knowledge. So thank you and meet you next time.